Hi guys and welcome back to another ship time lapse. This time we're going to be doing a 10 gun brig. So as I've been making my way up through different ship sizes, um, well it was time to do a slightly bigger brig so I was going to just see how many guns I can get on this one. So like normal just laying out a basic framework using slabs and stairs after I put in the initial blocks to get the rough shape. Always start really rough, you can always refine later down the line. And as you can see I keep on going in and tweaking. Um, and with this one in particular, I actually had the jungle and then oak, and then I decided, nope, I'm going to switch that all out for dark oak and actually try out the mangrove. And I really like this. And also using the crimson for the kind of like cabin part of it and going from there. Now, one of the things I actually realized with this one is as soon as I flipped the ship, uh, and you'll see that in a second, actually it's quite thin at the back. So the actual cabin is quite small for the size of the ship and actually smaller than some of my other ships, uh, which are smaller than this one. But actually, I think it adds quite a bit of character. It makes it look quite good. So you can now see that I put in the cannons, so I've just gone with um, five on each side for that. We could have had some cannons on the top as well. Putting in three mass because it is a brig and also just connecting in the bowsprit there. So connecting all these in, doing the usual kind of things with composters these days. Getting the rough kind of plan out. So for the main sail I decided to go with three main sails on that. So three sails on the middle mast um, which I thought was kind of cool. It was just the size of the ship, the size of the mast, it just kind of worked out quite well. So you can see me putting in the framework, the kind of scaffolding of those using the really basic sail pattern that I've been using over my tutorials and with the back one just putting in the nice detail fur there for the spanker sail at the back. So now just coming in around each of those and really shaping those sails, you know, making them look a little bit more natural. Um, it's always the best thing to do, really. It does take quite a bit of time. Surprisingly, uh, one of the most time-consuming parts of actually doing these builds is just putting in sails, but they're so important to make the ship look good. So I'm really happy with how this one actually turned out with the colours in particular. I think I'll use this combination for later ships as well. It just, It's just different. It's just different and it's quite cool and it just kind of works quite nicely and maybe we could even use that as well for different nations as we create worlds. But here is the final build guys. If you're interested in a tutorial for this one, it'll be up on the channel shortly. Now if you're watching this one in a far future, then um, there'll be a link in the description already to the channel, already to the tutorial, so you can just go and check that one out. But like I say, I'm quite happy with how this one turned out. It looks really good, I like the cabin, uh, it's really nice and thin, comes to a real point. It doesn't mean it's small in the interior, but that's fine. But anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.